What is up everybody, I'm Elliot Delp, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Diamondback DB10 Chamberton 308. Should be a good little review, so let's get right into it. So like I said before the intro rolled, we're going to be doing a review of the Diamondback DB10 chambered in 308. And kind of how this video is going to roll, I'm going to talk a little bit about the specs and the features of the rifle, then I'm going to talk about how it performed for me in my testing, and then I want to talk about how the rifle fits into um, your daily life, how I think it's best used and how I feel um, the rifle works best. So without further ado, and right before I start talking about the specs, I would like to say thank you to Diamondback for sending this rifle out. Um, it really means a lot to me, I really appreciate it. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the specs, features, and whatnot of this particular 308 rifle. So this rifle is the DB10DB. So if you go on Diamondback's website, this is that exact rifle. Um, that's the code for it. This rifle MSRP is for around $1,600, um, which is pretty on par with a lot of 308s out there right now, especially considering some of the accessories that this rifle does come with, some of the features that it has. Um, so, I mean, you can obviously find cheaper rifles out there, but you don't, you don't get, I guess, the more desirable features. Um, so, let's start talking right about these desirable features. We'll start from the back and work our way front. At the rear, we have a Magpul stock. This is the ACSL stock, I do believe. I like this stock a lot. Um, I'm usually a fan of the CTR stocks, but this one's pretty nice. It's got the locking feature here on the back, which I really like about the CTR. Um, so the AC ACLS has it as well. Um, it has a little storage compartment here, which is pretty nifty. I don't really have anything in there. I guess you could put a battery or something in there. I'm not sure. It has a QD point here in the back. Um, you do have to screw that QD point in. Isn't really that big of a deal. Moving forward, we have the Magpul. I, I think this is the Magpul um, K. Oh, no, this is the MOE K2 Plus grip. So this is the rubberized grip. Um, my favorite. I have probably three or four of these on different rifles that I own. And I usually upgrade this to a, to a rubberized Magpul grip, so it's nice that this one already has it. Um, the upper and the lower are 7075 T6 aluminum, which is pretty standard stuff. Pretty much everybody makes their uppers and lowers out of that. Um, the lower is the Diamondback DB10 Diamond lower which it has this cool cut some of the black gold series have this cut as well it's just a different type of lower receiver um, it's not kind of like your traditional lower so that's really nice really cool it also has a skeletonized um, trigger guard and you can't replace the trigger guard which is completely fine by me i absolutely hate replacing trigger guards so the fact this one's already came built into the lower is nice but you do need to be careful and make sure you don't um, break this or slam it down or anything. I have heard horror stories, and this didn't happen to me, but I've had heard horror stories of these breaking off from being hit too hard or for some odd, horrible reason. Moving on to the internals of the lower receiver, we have a CMC two and a half pound trigger. This is the flat faced trigger. This is my very first flat face trigger, and the trigger is just awesome. Super smooth. I mean, just amazing. Beautiful, really. All right, moving on past your whole upper lower receiver, you have the rail. So this rail right here is the S rail from Diamondback. It is 15 inches. It's got the cuts on the top for M-lock. Um, end lock on the side, end lock on the bottom, and then pick pieces here on the front and the end of the rail section. 
So we get to the barrel. This barrel is a, like I said before, a 308 barrel. This is 18 inches. It's stainless steel. Uh, 416R, I believe, is what it is made out of. This rifle in particular has a mid-length gas system. The newer ones, I think if you buy it after July 1st of 2021, they now come with rifle length gas systems. So keep that in mind. Um, the gas system or the gas block is not adjustable. It is what it is. I didn't run this suppressed. My suppressor is still in jail. So unfortunately, I was not able to test that. Um, at the very end of the rifle, you have the DB10 muzzle brake. And this thing is an absolute beast. It about destroys anything in of the vicinity of the the shot. So be careful. I don't know if it'll break like a tail light if you're shooting it off the bed of a truck or anything. But it's pretty intense. Um, I have one of these on my Grendel. One time we were coyote hunting and uh, I had a buddy sit beside me and I shot at a fox and he was like, "Holy crap, that about deafened me." And I was like, "Yeah, it'll do that." So keep that in mind. I don't really think it's that big of a deal but it is something so that's pretty much all the features on this 308 it's a pretty sweet little rifle it definitely has a ton of stuff already on it that i would want to upgrade trigger stock grip rail some of the things that i think diamondback could improve upon with their i guess the rail section here so there's no qd point so i prefer qd points at the front and the back and then something back here. So they got one back here with the stock. But I really think they could just cut in a QD point here or cut in a QD point here. And uh, it, would, it would just improve it that much more. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal, but every little bit helps. So let's move on to kind of talking about how the rifle performed for me. Um, so I got this rifle probably three or four months ago, I think. Um, I slapped on this primary arms 4 to 14 first focal plane scope on it, which primary arms did send out to me. So I really appreciate that. Um, and did all my testing with it. Um, as you know, the ammo shortage. So I used M80 ball for the majority of the testing. I shot some Hornady whitetail with it. Um, and I, I think that's pretty much it. The rest was just random surplus ammunition that I found um, just to do reliability tests. And I did my accuracy test, I think, with the M80 ball as well. It was arms core. Um, and it, it ran really well. Um, like I said, I've had it for quite a few months now. I've been shooting it a lot. And uh, it's a real nice shooter. The, the recoil is, isn't that bad. I mean, it is a 308. Um, so you are getting a little bit more recoil, but the muzzle brake really takes it off. Um, it, it really reduces it. So it's not that big. It's not that bad. Um, so let's talk about how, how accurate it was. Um, when I shot the group with the M80, I got about a one and a half inch at a hundred yards. So whatever that math is, I think it's like one and a half MOA with not match ammunition, which is pretty good. Um, I'd like to find some Hornady Black for it, but his ammo is just too scarce. Um, I know we're coming out of it, but I still can't find really, really good quality ammunition. Um, even at, well, I do all my shopping at Rural King for ammo, just because usually they have better deals than a lot of the gun stores. But even the gun stores didn't have any match grade ammo. So that was unfortunate. But nevertheless, the rifle did perform very well. So let's talk about kind of what this rifle is good for, how I see it fitting in in um, my life and how I see it fitting in in other people's lives as well. So as most of you guys know, if you're watching this, the 308 is kind of like the do all round. And I think this rifle is a do all rifle, whether that be whitetail deer hunting, hog hunting, um, maybe you want a battle rifle. Um, although I do feel like the AR-10 is not the best, decision for a battle rifle, this will do the job very, very well. So it's kind of like a do all thing for me. I think at some point I'm gonna put night vision on this and make this my dedicated hog hunting uh, rifle. So there's what I'm gonna be doing with it and that's what I think would be a great fit for it. But like I said, it's pretty much a do all, do all rifle. I mean, it's, it's not massively big, 
Um, it's, this one is not massively heavy. Uh, I have a 308 from Palmetto that's an absolute bear to have. So that's, that, that's something to be said. Um, but overall, that's what I feel like the rifle's good for. So in conclusion, I feel like Diamondback made a fantastic rifle. Um, packed full of features, like I said before, for $1,600, bucks, you are getting everything you need for an awesome rifle. You're getting the stainless steel barrel, you're getting the trigger, you're getting the upgraded stock, you're getting the upgraded grip, you're getting an awesome looking rifle. Something, something to be proud of and something to show off. So Diamondback really pulled out all the stops for this 308, and uh, I'm very impressed with it. So there are some people I would like to say thank you to, um, Diamondback being one of them, Primary Arms being another one. Um, both of them support the channel, so I really appreciate that. Also, I would like to shout out LA Police Gear. Um, they have a ton of awesome stuff, whether that be like play carriers or just apparel in general. Um, if you're looking for like a to-go bag or like a bug out bag, you should head on over to LA Police Gear. Link is in my bio to their website. Um, just take a look around. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. They got some really cool stuff. I got a pair of their pants that I use to take to the range all the time. and They're, they're pretty comfortable. So I really think that about does it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Go leave a like and comment down below. Comment what you'd like to see next on my channel. I'm always looking for ideas, comment a gun, comment a scope, comment a plate carrier. I don't, I don't know. Just comment down below. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button as well. Other than that, I think that about does it. As always, guys, I'll see y'all the next one. Take someone outdoors. Peace.